initially when I said I want to go in the woods, nobody was wanting to go in the woods. Everybody was either chilling, meditating in the barn area or they were grazing up where there's grass. And I initially went that way and Jax was following me until we hit the muddy patches and then he's like, I don't really feel like crossing the mud. And I looked at his legs, they were dry and clean, you know, which takes a little while out here. So I thought, yeah, he doesn't want to get muddy. But I didn't want to go back the other way because the people who rent the house are out on the lawn and I try to stay out of their space. So I said, mm, I don't feel comfortable because he was saying, let's go the other way where it's dry. I was like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. So I said, how about I go around, which again, we're talking a 10 acre go around and you go that way and meet me here. And that was my idea. And then I left it and then I went off with the dogs and I had my walk. And sure enough, within five minutes of me getting to the entrance of the forest, because again, I stood there and I was like, hey, because it's electric fenced in the middle. I'm like, hey, go around. Like, do you want to come and play? And sure enough, they slowly, slowly, because they're not trained. They're not, I'm not compelling them. I'm just saying, this is my idea. What do you guys feel? They made their way around. And then we had this wonderful playtime, hide and seek exploration in this, beautiful natural woods where the horses have made all the trails this was dense nobody could even walk in here before the horses came in here so I even love coming in here just to follow their trails because they're so organic and they're such beautiful trails Come through here. There's a path here you can cut through. And what's there that they stopped? You want me to go look at the path?
look calm, but the way they're taking the grass from me, their energy is still super jet lagged. So just be aware they can bolt at any time. I can't take the growing tension. It's like, just run, just go, go, go. I'm going this way. You guys decide what you want to do, okay? You coming with me or are you going that way? I'm going the peaceful way. I'll see you guys back at the top or in the middle. exchange some calming signals and now I'm bored of that so I want to move so which way do you guys want to go are you gonna go that way and meet me or am I gonna come this way and call for you every now and again to let you know where I am and then what's really cool to me is to see what they choose full choice not training aids not and I can see them <laughs> Guess what they've chosen? Now, it wouldn't matter to me if they chose this or not. I can, as long as I'm here, you can hear me. Hi, Bubba's. Hi, Big Mama. Hi, Jack. Hi, Junebug. Hello, big boy. Hello, big boy. Are we going this way? Okay, I'll follow you. Let's go. Let's follow the horses. Come on, I'll follow you. And this is the difference between Montaro and the rest of the herd because he has the confidence and the personal power to stay on his own when the rest of the herd is running. And the running is an extremely difficult genetic reflex to override. But that's just who he is. Again, this is not training. And there, that's where he hit his boundary of how far and how long he felt comfortable, which shows you that that's not training that he stayed behind. I wasn't asking him to stay behind. I was just observing. And then I was going to go closer to him and have maybe an interaction. And that's when he all of a sudden decided, and I'm out of here. <laughs> but he hasn't run far. We can still see him. And he's at a walk now. So again, he's showing you that he doesn't hold the level of, I don't know if you'd even call it fear or anxiety. I'm not even sure it's that. I think it's just a really strong drive to be with the herd and not to be separated, not to be isolated. So again, this is what I really love doing. <laughs> I find this way more cool than like training them to follow me and perform. I mean, not that I'm dissing that, but for me, it's not interesting. It's not um, fun or exciting. What's fun or exciting to me is the unknown and to say you're completely at choice. I'm really interested in learning from you and in seeing what you choose to do. And then if they go, yeah, we're not following you, we're going that way. I go, okay, well, I'm gonna cut around this way. And then I'm enjoying this wonderful walk through the woods, but I'm looking for them. So it kind of feels like hide and seek. And that for me is way more fun and way more enjoyable than just training a horse to follow at my beck and call when I say, uh, because it's been conditioned to do that. Um, now, again, not knocking it. For someone, if that's your idea of fun, it's your idea of fun. Like there's many ways to have fun, right? I'm just sharing 
what I prefer, what's more interesting to me um, than, than a trained horse is this horse. <laughs> and then I get to view, well, what are their natural herd drivers and herd inclinations? And I'm so fascinated by the, the microbiota that is a living herd and all the different pieces and how interdependent they are and how they, they axle off each other. And, you know, what are the space distances? And so the rest of the herd, so there are seven that stayed at the barn and only four came, I mean, what are we, 15, 20 acres away. Again, just like all these things that to me are, are very interesting that I only get to learn and observe if they're completely at freedom to do whatever they want. And that the rest of the herd was in the barn meditating. They didn't choose to come in the woods, but they did come out here. So they left the barn where the food and they were relaxing and they still come out to a more exciting area, which is still following the energy that we had in the forest, even though they didn't want to come in there with us. Let's see if they'll follow us to the back. She's like, no, but I'd love you to scratch my udder. Or maybe. to go across the creek. Come on, babies. See how they've hit the invisible barrier of the fence line there? Mm -hmm. Come on, Zeta. You want to come? Hey? You want to come? So I'm opening my heart space energy and just sending pure love to them. At the same time, I'm saying, if you don't feel safe, it's okay. Don't come. I'm not asking you to go against your own body wisdom. I'm just extending this invitation for way more love and connection and like lots of fun. And I keep sending them pictures of the dogs. The dogs will keep the coyotes away so that, because Montaro's not with them and Montaro's their herd guardian. So I'm saying, how do you feel about me and the dogs being your guardian? I'm coming back here and having some fun, just for fun and connection. And for some reason I'm locking onto Maka. He's the one I'm really calling. I don't know why. <laughs> and he just keeps locking back onto me. Here, oh, Maka, is he gonna come? Are you going to step past? Come on, punk. Come on, big guy. Come on, handsome. Oh, it's so, and so this is another part of what's so interesting to me because you can see they want to. Like, there's not enough grass there. They're really tightly bunched. They're really like, oh. But they have so many factors factoring into their decision um, of herd dynamics and safety and they've got babies and, and and all the stuff that we can't even contemplate that they're dealing with that has to be an internal decision for them and I'm not again this is not about training I'm not interested in overriding and making them say I'm the leader so they have to be with me or I'm the boss so they have to do what I'm asking it's just pushing into what wants to happen or what can happen. And if it doesn't, that's really interesting information for me about I wonder why. And that leads me to learn more about natural herd behavior. And they've all turned their bum away now. They're in almost the same spot, but they've all turned their bum to me. So I feel from them that they're like, 
yeah, no. For whatever reason, they just can't or they don't want to. And so this stamping, they'll hear. So the stamping is like the equivalent if a horse starts running. So I'm just using what I've witnessed from them for their languaging. Is to say, okay, well, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going decisively and I'm going quickly and and then who knows, they might come and they might not. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm.